As a society, I think we should stop telling small businesses to charge whatever they want for their stuff just because they're a small business. You guys, this is the pettiest drama on TikTok. Not that the other ones are ever serious enough to attract national concern now that I think about it. Every drama on TikTok is petty. However, this one has taken the crown. Just by how much people are invested in it and the sheer number of stitches it has attracted, we really have so much time on our hands, guys. Anyways, loves, Let's get right into it. This, I actually have no idea who I'm gonna give this to. Basically, I was at this market, the Finder Ke Finders Keepers Market. How can you just cut right? I think it's actually like a kid sippy cut, which is silly because it's ceramic, so if they drop it, it'll smash. But I didn't say that. I thought it just had one handle. I was like, oh, that's such a cute mug. Like, I'm just gonna get it. Like, I was like, whatever, like, I'll just get it. Didn't ask how much it was. She's like, yep, yeah, that's all good. You can tap. It's 100. She's like, oh no, she's like, it's all good. You can tap. Look at the F Boss machine, $125. Look how small this mug is. Like it's literally tiny. That's like a proper mug size. I was like, she like fully wrapped it and put it in a bag and like I was about to tap. So I was like, there's no way I can be like, no. I could have, but I would have felt really bad. I'd like to call this Australian $125 strawberry mug drama. It all started with two TikTokers named Soph and Shelby. Other than being relatively big shot TikTokers, these two are also small scale business owners. I need y'all to remember that part because it will be very important to the story. Now, Shelby announced on TikTok that she will be attending the Craft Festival, which was set to happen later in the year, down in Sydney, Australia. Cut to the day of the festival, Shelby sets up her her booth ready to sell her handmade mugs, interact with her TikTok fans and whatnot, and seems chill until one potential customer strolls into Shelby's booth. And guess who it is? None other than her fellow TikToker, Soph. Nothing too wild happens at this point, guys. Soph just buys one of Shelby's strawberry mugs and heads out just like that. A whole month rolls by and still nada. Until January 31st when Soph posted this video. This is really their four yet, but like I'll figure it out. This, I actually have no idea who I'm gonna give this to. Basically, I was at this market, the Finder Ke Finders Keepers market. How can you just cut right? I think it's actually like a kid sippy cut, which is silly because it's ceramic, so if they drop it, it'll smash. Didn't ask how much it was. She's like, yeah, that's all good. You can tap. It's 100. She's like, oh no, she's like, it's all good. You can tap. Can you look at the F Boss machine, $125. Look how small this mug is. Like, it's literally tiny. That's like a proper mug size. I'm sorry. What? $125 for a cup so small it's practically invisible? Let's do some quick math here, you guys. How much is this in American doll? 81? 81 American dollars for a cup smaller than a... I can't even come up with a comparison because it is that tiny. But seriously, for 81 bucks, you could deck out your entire kitchen with massive mugs. I don't care if that mug was hand-delivered by unicorns. That price is just plain bonkers. Or maybe I'm just not making enough money, but... <laughs> I am willing to die on this hill. That is definitely on the high end for a mug that size, but hey, apparently some folks out there have a thing for cups, so much so that they're willing to sell a kidney just to get enough money for their collection of expensive cups. Must be nice. Anyways, enough about my spending habits, let's get back to the drama. At this point, all we've got is Soph's video and she wasn't even trying to call anyone out. She just mentioned the pricey cup while unboxing her festival haul. No harm, no foul, right? Wrong. Q, Shelby, and entered the chat. All right, my loves, you might wanna get more popcorn because the drama has officially started. Let me tell you, I've never been so invested in a cup like this. So I just saw this video and that's my mug. That was only a short little clip of the whole minute that she talks about how I spoke to her as a business at the market. Basically, Shelby starts filling in details nobody asked for, giving a whole play-by-play -play of their interaction. She starts off by thanking So for her purchase and then launches into a spiel about how she works so hard Hard to make her cups. Every single time someone purchases a piece that I make, I have literally spent hours and hours finessing, glazing. I hand paint every single one. And that's not including how much money goes towards tax, how much goes towards GST, how much outgoings I have, all my supplies that have also increased in value. It also includes my staff's wages. But here's where things really take a turn. Shelby decides to address Soph's video, which was the point of her video Video anyway, there was no point taking us around the circle to begin with. Also deeply upsetting to have someone not only question you as a business owner and lie about how I interacted with you, 
but to also have you question my pricing when you too also run a small business and you know how much goes into every single little thing that small business does. Wait, what? So Soph isn't allowed to talk about the high prices because she's also a small business owner? Talk about entitlement. You know what guys, one day we'll have to chat about some of these small businesses thinking they're above criticism just because they're small. We should be bending over backwards for them. But for now, let's just keep going. The thing that's also upsetting is that you came to the Finders Keepers market and do you know what? We were all so excited. Even the market organizers were so excited that you came to the market and you were potentially going to shout out this wonderful event that supports small local creative businesses. Oof! If gaslighting had a face, it would be Shelby's. She is literally taking this way out of context, almost trying to guilt trip Soph over nothing. And now she's dragging other small businesses into it too. So according to Shelby, here's what went down. When I spoke to you, I actually recognized you because you'd just been nominated for a TikTok award. And I said, hey, how awesome. Congratulations on your TikTok award. I then explained to you, like I explained to every single person that came to my stall over that weekend, that all the prices were placed on the bottom and you can pick up, handle, you don't have to purchase anything. You can just enjoy my stall because I get it. Times are tough right now. I don't want to put you in a financial situation. I want to have a living wage and I want to support my workers here. I want to be able to continue doing this and doing it for a very long time. Lies, lies, lies. This one lies through her teeth. She is spinning a whole web of lies here. I mean, who really opens up their shop and tells customers, hey, feel free to walk around and check out some of my my products. I understand that times are tough, so you don't have to purchase anything, but just like walk around and have a good time. Does she think we're toddlers who need hand holding? Come on now. Imagine trying to give an entire speech every time a customer walks in. Girl, sit down. I watched you pick things up and look at the prices. You picked up a number of pieces of that strawberry collection because it's freaking cute. It's so cute. And then I showed you other pieces that I had left. Because they were so popular, I barely had any of them left. And I showed you, and I even told you the price of them. After that, you handed me the mug that you are gonna go, and I was like, awesome pick. And I asked you, like I asked everyone that weekend, whether you would like tissue paper or a bit more padding, because I wanted to make sure that the piece was safe wherever they were traveling to that day. And I didn't wrap it until I had an answer. And I, then I gave you the FBOSS machine to tap your card. It was literally your choice. And I wouldn't have wrapped it until I knew that you had you had responded that you wanted that piece. I mean, seriously, isn't this just basic customer service? Like literally. The least Shelby could do is make a bigger mug for that price. Imagine spending all that cash on a mug that could barely hold a single cup of your morning coffee. If you're gonna drop that kind of dough on a mug, you should be able to use it for multiple stuff, bathe in it maybe, store your clothes in it. Heck, you should even be able to take some shots out of it. It needs to earn its worth, you know? This mug should be able to take the trash out, but Shelby took things a step too far with her resolution. If you would like, you can send me an email and we can organize you returning the mug to me and I can issue you a full refund of the money that you paid for that piece and I can find someone else that will really, really love and appreciate that mug. In particular, that mug is really special because it may look like just a sippy cup to you, but it actually falls under the dignity mug category where it has a double handle to help people that have different needs and different disabilities that require to handle mugs to handle their cup. Anyway, thank you um, for supporting my business regardless. Uh, and thank you to anyone that's bought one of my pieces. It, um, it means the world to me, so thank you. All right, just a minute. Where is my $10 mug? I need some coffee. I I swear this has to be the worst business owner I've ever dealt with and it's not even my mug or my money on the line here. Honestly, I would have taken her up on the refund offer if I had bought that overpriced mug, but who am I kidding? I can't afford a $125 cup in the first place, so no refund for me. But seriously, Shelby is the master of guilt tripping. Now she's trying to play on people's emotions, saying that the cup might not mean much to Soph, but could be special to others with disabilities. Look, I am not trying to be harsh here, but the fact remains, the cup is too expensive. That's what Shelby needs to address and maybe reconsider her pricing strategy. Look, I get it. Willing buyer, willing seller is the rule of the market. And if this is the case, then maybe Shelby is not targeting the average Joe at all. Maybe she should consider making custom mugs for the elite 
few who can drop serious cash without blinking. She should have a waiting list, limited editions, you know, all those luxury brands do to cater to their wealthy clientele. But as long as she's slinging cups at a craft festival and rubbing elbows with us regular folks working at the gas station, these cups are overpriced. And let us not forget, this could have been anyone, not just Soph. It could have been me, though I would have jumped out of that booth faster than I walked in. If Soph had an issue with the price and size, someone must have felt it too, because the bottom line is the cup is just too dang expensive. In particular, that mug is really special because it may look like just a sippy cup to you, but it actually falls under the dignity mug category, where it has a double handle to help people that have different needs and different disabilities that require to handle mugs to handle their cup. It's crystal clear that the whole goal here was to make So feel guilty, as if she had been mocking the cup's design for people with disabilities. Like, how dare you, Soph? Has Shelby ever considered acting because she's really good at playing the victim? Remember, loves, Soph never mentioned Shelby in the initial video that kicked all of this off. She didn't name the brand. She just said the cup was small and pricey, but bought it anyways. Shelby totally outed herself. Have you finished that popcorn yet? Better grab some more and maybe some water this time because you're gonna need to stay hydrated. Soph's response to Shelby? <laughs> Oh, it's on. I am making this video because I am so confused. I just went on my TikTok to see comments in my comment section saying, why would you lie to harm a small business? And I was like, whoa, what is happening? So I went to my tagged videos and I saw this video. It's like a two minute video of this girl saying that I slammed her small business and I said that her pieces weren't worth the price. Basically, I went to the Finders Keepers Market in Sydney on my birthday and I went and I bought a few things. I then did a haul and I showed in the haul this like mug that I got. This is my experience. I remember going to the Finance Keepers Market, looking at this store and being like, this is so cute. I walk up, there was like a little like, um, like barricade thing you had to like line up because the store was really popular. So I stood in the line, I waited, I waited, I waited, I waited a while, got to the front and I just wanted to have a look at some things. On my mum's life, I did not touch any items. I looked at all the items and I remember talking to a girl who had long, dark brunette hair. Maybe I'm wrong, but I swear I remember having long, dark brunette hair. And I remember seeing the mug and thinking it was really cute. When I looked at the mug, I couldn't see that it had two handles, but I wouldn't have bought it. But I thought it had one handle. If, like, she's claiming in the video, which I don't even know if it's Eve, if it is, if it even is her business in the video, because I don't remember her looking like that. I know it feels like I've been team so from the get-go, but nah. I am just here looking at the facts. I'm speaking from the outside looking in, and I already have a word for Soph. Girl, you played a role in this, so you're telling us you dropped that much cash and can't even remember who served you? Now, I'm no memory expert, but if someone told me a dinky mug was $125, you best believe I would remember them. My jaw hit the floor, sure, but once I picked it up, you'd have a special place at the back of my brain. Like, if I had to make a video about how expensive your cup was, I'd remember you. If you lined up in a crowd and then blindfolded me, I could still pick you out. But maybe that's just me and I might be too broke to even get close to such a mug. Also, I'm confused because not only is Soph claiming she can't remember whoever served her, but she's also adding that she didn't even look at the mug to notice it had two handles. She basically just grabbed something paid and dashed. Or maybe she's just one of those impulsive buyers. You see, this is why I strictly go shopping on a full stomach. Every time I shop when I'm hungry, I buy stuff I don't need and I do it in a hurry and regret it later. But let's keep this train rolling. Talk to us later, Soph. She said that I was picking up the items, playing with them, like not playing with them, but looking at them, looking at the price. Why would I lie about this? Why would I make a TikTok saying that I had no idea what the price was if I knew the price? Hold up, hold up, hold up. That is not even what Shelby said. She actually mentioned that she told Soph the prices and she was showing her the pieces and that there were prices at the bottom of each of them. Basically, I see the mug. I think it's really cute. I thought I had one handle and I was like, oh, I'll get that, right? I didn't realize, I didn't know the price until I tapped my card. I saw that it said $125 and I thought, in my personal opinion, I thought, oh, I didn't expect it to be that much for a little mug. Not saying that the price, I never said anything in the video that the price wasn't worth that, that it was not deserving of that price, like the piece wasn't worth that price. 
never said anything. It was a little comment about how I didn't know it was that much money until I tapped my card. Still bought it. Didn't even know it had two handles because I didn't see it. Like I just saw it from an angle where I obviously thought it had one handle. Look, we could go back and forth on this all day, but let's keep it simple. This cup is too expensive. Let's not even talk about the state of the economy right now because I'll start sobbing and I know y'all feel me. But seriously, Soph should just return the cup, get a refund, problem solved. She is now making this video saying that I was picking it up. I looked at the price on the bottom. I looked at the price of a few things. She's telling me that she talks me through the price and that she talks me through the whole strawberry collection. This did not happen. I don't know why people feel like they can make videos saying my name and just throwing absolute lies in there to get views because the video has so many views. The video has so many likes. The video has so many comments slamming me. Of course, all my haters are going to run at that and just take that. Like people just take things like take things with a grain of salt. This did not happen. Even if it did, in the video, I didn't even say anything bad. All I said was that I didn't know it had two handles and I was shocked because I didn't expect it to be that expensive. God bloody shoot me. Like, oh my God, I don't understand why things get blown out of proportion so much and why people think they can just throw my name into things and lie because it gets really exhausting when every day there is a new scandal coming up with my name in it just so people can get views. All right, let's call a spade a spade, not a big spoon. There was a mix up here, there was a miscommunication and there was one unsatisfied customer. I agree that Shelby's response wasn't exactly genuine, but Soph is also blowing things way out of proportion. And let's not forget, Shelby isn't using Soph's name for clout. I mean, come on, Shelby's got more followers than Soph. Because it just didn't happen. I remember her having long brunette hair, even if whatever, even if she dyed her hair, whatever, and that is her. She didn't talk me through the strawberry collection. She didn't show me the mug, because I can assure you, if I picked up the mug, I would have said, I'll leave it, because why would I get that mug with two handles? Like, it just doesn't make sense, and I'm sick. This is why I'm making this video, because usually I would just leave it and just let people, like, trash my name. But I'm sick of people using my name to get views when it's not true, and I'm sick of just sitting back and listening to it. So that's my true sense. Okay, either Soph is pulling her leg or she went shopping on an empty stomach and wasn't paying attention. Learn, guys, eat before you leave the house so you can spot a tiny mug with two handles. That's my expert advice, and I don't like how Soph is making it sound like they forced the mug on her, swiped her card, and told her, now you can go home. Do with that what you will. You have a beautiful brand. I never said anything about the pieces not being deserving of that price. All I said was that I was shocked by the price, still paid for it because I was was awkward and I wasn't gonna be like oh I'm not gonna get that like I was awkward I still want to support your small business God forbid that I make a little comment on a TikTok. Now, everyone's playing the victim card, and at this rate, we might as well ditch all mugs altogether. Mugs shouldn't cause so much chaos, tiny ones at that. This drama wouldn't have been nearly as juicy if it weren't for the internet detectives swooping in. Let me tell you, TikTokers have an absolute field day with this story. There were literally hundreds of videos with everyone and their cousin weighing in on the matter for days on end. Can you believe people even dug up the actual photo of Shelby's booth and the infamous cup? Yeah. For a hot minute, this mug was getting more attention than Kim Kardashian's latest beauty line. Now, there was one TikToker who made a solid point. Depending on where you stand, you might not even notice the mug has two handles. So if Soph never picked it up and checked, then sure, she might be telling the truth about this part, but I can't help but wonder why she would buy something that she hadn't even held. I mean, didn't she want to feel like the texture or something? Okay, y'all, so I just saw that. Um, and you can see the mug. Hang on, let me take a show y'all so there's the mug right there next to the other little strawberry mug and honestly depending on what side like sophie was coming on you possibly couldn't have seen that it was two because honestly like looking at it that looks like that the other handle like if like, if i cover up half that looks like that's a part of the other one Right? Like, your your eyes, and you're just looking, like, there's so much happening on her display table, no lie. Like, you wouldn't even guess, like, oh, yeah, okay. And you just see it, you're like, ooh, cute little strawberry mug. Like, yes, I'll take that. You know what I'm saying? Like, not even really peeping. And to be honest, it thrown, she could have been thrown back from the price suit. I guess in a way, I'm saying, like, I'm low-key on Sophia's side. 
And if you zoom into this video, you'll notice that the cups have no price tags, contrary to what Shelby claimed. Maybe she knew nobody would buy her mugs if they saw the price up front, and once they swiped their cards, they'd just let it slide. Because that's pretty much what happened to Soph. Also, interestingly enough, Shelby has since deleted her video, and I wonder why that is. Now, there is a lot of division on this issue, with most people taking Soph's side while others supported Shelby. But here's the thing. In heated situations like these, people tend to take things out of context. And most folks seem to forget that the real issue here was just a tiny overpriced cup. They turned it into a whole attack on Shelby's craft, and no, that is where we draw the line. This wasn't about questioning Shelby's worth ethic, commitment, or skill. Let's not muddy the waters. It was simply about an overpriced mug, and that's that. Nah, she's using disability as an excuse. Even then, a majority of disabled people can't afford that mug that's a specialist spill or meds. I work for a nonprofit that works with a lot of hand handmade pottery artist, not a single mug has ever come anywhere close to that price. Actually hand turned, glazed, designs add to it, etc. The most expensive I've ever seen for a mug was $60 for something large and very well made with lots of hand painted slash drawn details. The two biggest issues here. If you think the price is outrageous, don't buy it. If a customer complained about your business without naming you, then take the critique and move on. Someone pointed out that she doesn't make them by hand on the wheel, but rather pours it into a mold that she bought off of Etsy for a much cheaper price than what she's selling. Yes, the hand painting and firing and glazing is a bit, but she didn't even make the mold. And the argument that it's a cup for people with disabilities but doesn't make the price accessible for most disabled people feels wrong. I don't know, y'all. The only time a mug should be that much is if it's extremely ornate with 3D details or is an actual art piece. A basic style mug with simple painting should be nowhere near that. Ah, TikTok dramas will be the end of us y'all so petty but super entertaining anyways guys stay tuned because i'm as sure as the northern star that in not more than two business days some other tiktoker will be serving us some hot piping news that can't save global warming but we'll still watch and get invested like we always do oh actually do you have any tiktok scandal that you want me to address please let me know down below thanks for watching and bye